how I got this stunning, bright, vibrant photo of a new classroom. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Rick McAvoy. I hope that you're well. Thanks for joining me. Who am I? Well, I photograph buildings. That's architectural, construction and real estate photography. And I photograph the buildings in nice places. Yes, I even do this when I'm on holiday. Anyway, this week on my photography blog, well, I started the year talking about photos that I've taken, giving you the um, bit of the backstory of the photos. Uh, last week was, um, it was um, a photo, oh yeah, sorry, I forgot then. It was uh, the photo of the House of Commons from Westminster Bridge in the evening. I also took some alternative edits in, so if you haven't seen that video, just head back on my YouTube channel, or go over to my blog at rickmacavoyphotography.com, which isn't a bad place to go because there you can see the examples of the photos. Now then, so this week the photo is one taken, I don't know, three or four years ago, and it's of a completed construction project in Dorset, and it's a photo taken for the architect, and it's a classroom with a lovely, lovely bright ray of sunshine slap bang in the middle of the photo. So on the blog post, which you can read at rickmacavoyphotography.com, I've published that original edit of the photo. First point I want to make is to get shots like this, you, you need to plan things. Now, it was a school classroom in a new building, so obviously I have to do it when there aren't any kids there. I also had to plan it for, um, well, when it's not being cleaned. And at the end of the blog post, I will tell you the one thing I would have done differently to get this shot. And obviously, with me having the sun directly in the photo, it is difficult, I have to say, to, to describe these things in words. So, like I say, head over to Rick McAvoy. <laughs> head over to rickmacavoyphotography.com and check out the latest blog post, and you will see the photo and the various different versions of edits. So timing for where the sun is is obviously critical and you can't just guess that because I had a very small window where, forgiving the pun, the sun um, got down below the head of the window and before it disappeared over the hills of the Purbex in the background. Yep, this is a classroom with a sea view. It's a stunning location and I had to get my timing absolutely bang on. It took me a couple of goes to work this one out properly. so. Don't always assume you can just turn up, get the shots and go. Sometimes you need to go back in, if you get the opportunity. Now, quite often I don't get a second opportunity, but this one was um, I was able to, which was good. So, yeah, planning is so important when you're photographing construction projects, completed construction projects. And then any building, really, the, better, the more planning you do, it's a... I'll give you an, an old saying here. The more I plan a job, the better it seems to go. There you go. So what else do I talk about in the blog post? Well, like I say, we've got the original edit of the photo, which was issued to the client back in the day. Uh, the camera settings that I used, uh, the gear that I used, where the shoot was, who was the shoot for, uh, timing of the construction works. Now, this is a biggie when you photograph in completed construction projects, because Completed to one person is different from completed to another person. Completed to the builder is different to the that from the client. So it's a challenge. So yeah, camera settings, gear used, the edited photo. And then there was a black and white version I did back then when I issued the, the photos to my edit. And, and the thing that I'm starting to do now, which I'm enjoying, is I'm doing alternative edits. I'm going back to the beginning and the first one that I do, I use the auto white balance in Lightroom and then in the basic panel, there's an auto correction for the tones of the highlights, the shadows, the whites, the blacks and everything, the contrast. This is Lightroom analyzing the photo and doing what it thinks you need to do. Now, if you've got Lightroom, try this. It's staggering how good it can be. It's better than me, which is a disappointment to me, but hey, it, at the very least, it gives me an idea of what I can get out of a folks. So, so just hit auto, let it do its thing, and you might be amazed, like I am, on a constant basis. Then, take it a step further. With another click, 
you get a black and white version instantly. And they're pretty good as well. The other thing in the blog post is the one minute edit. This is a challenge that I set myself to see if I can edit a photo in a minute. Now on the photo of the House of Commons, I failed. I got the crop better, I got the colours, the tones right, but there was so much more I wanted to do, so we'll try again here. Lessons learned, important, and this is something that I'm really enjoying doing, is, is going back to old photos and learning lessons about the gear that I used, the composition, big learning point there, the image capture, the whole process, processing, all that good stuff. And like I say, at the end of the blog post, I say this quietly, but I haven't written it all yet. It's there on my blog, but I've just put the first half of it up. So I'll get onto that in a minute. Um, yeah, there's the thing that I forgot to do, and there's a fundamental on the composition, which, which I'll come on to. Right, that's all I wanted to say about this week's video for my blog. So head over to rickmacavoyphotography.com forward slash blog for the blog post and lots of other good stuff. And like I say, I am the creator and all things at the Photography Explained podcast. So head over to the website, photographyexplainedpodcast.com. You guessed it. And also you can find the podcast on all major podcast providers. Okay, I am done. Thank you for watching. Delighted to have you joining me on my YouTube channel. If you've liked this video, hit subscribe and you'll get another, you'll get a notification when the next one comes out. Normally on a Monday, I'm on time this week, which is good and not a little bit unusual. So thanks for watching. Stay safe. Take care. Cheers from me, Rick.